tucked into the southern reaches of Pulaski County, the unincorporated community of Hensley weaves a rich tapestry of heritage. Let's step back in time and explore the origins of this remarkable place. In the early 1830s, William and Harriet Campbell embarked on a journey from Indiana to the Arkansas Territory. Their destination, an expanse of land along what was dubbed as Campbell Bayou in Pulaski County. Here, they purchased 320 acres and erected a sawmill, a hub of industry and promise. Campbell harvested cypress, oak, and pine trees from his property, moving it via Sawmill Road. From there to the Arkansas River to be assembled into rafts and floated to market in New Orleans, Louisiana. William Campbell, a man of great vision, became deeply involved in local affairs. His tenure as Pulaski County Judge from 1854 to 1860 marked an era of fiscal efficiency and reform. Fast forward, 1868, William B. Hensley, a Confederate veteran, arrived in Arkansas. His destiny intertwined with the Campbells when he married Rosanna, one of William Campbell's daughters. Together they tilled the land, nurturing crops and dreams. In 1881, tragedy struck, the loss of Rosanna. Undeterred, Hensley married Nora Harris and built a sturdy two-story log house near the Campbells residence. The rhythm of life continued, punctuated by the distant whistle of the Little Rock, Mississippi River, and Texas Railway, a lifeline connecting towns and hearts. The railroad, like an iron serpent, slithered through Hensley's domain. A depot emerged, a beacon of possibility. On January 27, 1882, the Hensley Post Office was christened, and the community officially bore the name of its steadfast founder. Fast forward again, this time to the present. Hensley remains a testament to resilience and continuity. Though the population of Hensley may have shifted over time, its spirit endures, like the wind through the cypress, oak, and pine. And so, Hensley stands, a living chapter in the unfolding story of Arkansas. Thank you for watching. Join us next time.